So Rhea just survived a massive spine buster from Willow Nightingale. This match continues, but Willow with a chance to put it away quickly, Tony. Can she do it, though? That's the thing. We're talking about how much being a professional and being in the ring for so many years has helped Soraya. Oh, uh, inside cradle, counter by Willow. Ooh, wow, Two, she, no. Oh. Boy, she just barely escaped that one, guys. Sure thing, and follow up big time for him. What's she doing here? Oh! Soraya, Soraya, get her. the nightcap, the cover, no! Oh, nightcap hit. Boy, it really hit, and uh, Soraya's shot. Because that's one of her premier moves. That's one of her, her weapons. I told you guys, she's mean and tough, is this Willow. You've got to stay on her. Tony Storm, Ruby Soho at ringside. They thought that was it, too, but Willow, so much heart. She is persevering in the face of just, I mean, this, this has been a three-on-one beatdown at times. And you see that, uh, the, the, uh oh, wait a minute. Willow. Hold on a second, Willow's. Oh, Death Valley driver by Willow Nightingale. Tony Storm immediately diverting the referee's attention. Now, Tony knew what she was doing, and so did Ruby, because that could have been the one, two, three. Easily. And Ruby gonna feel the pounce from Willow. Oh, wow. Oh, man, you hit those ropes, they're unforgiving. They'll cut you up and beat you up. A shot for Tony Storm, too, but Soraya taking advantage of Willow having her back turned, and now... Oh, the good night. Good night from Soraya. And it scores the win. No winner of this match, Soraya. Well, you gotta give her her credit right there. She got the victory, Soraya did, but it took a village. Yeah, the numbers once again proving to be too much for a single opponent to overcome the outcast. Again, three on one, and they're not done with Willow yet. That's what the outcasts are all about. Paul Turner says, ring the bell. We gotta get these ladies out of here. And I really shouldn't use the term ladies. Oh, hang about? on, hang on. I know that too. Oh my God. It's Sheena. The former AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Sheena. We haven't seen her in months. And now she's back and holding the outcast at bay, but no! Oh, what in the world? What the hell? This can't be happening. Hikaru Shida returning to AEW and joining up with the outcast. What a shocker. And she, no, she can't do this. I, this Come is, on, Sheeta. No, we, she's not going to do this. Wait what, a second. Where did they come? Well, she, Jamie Hader and Britt Baker now. The, the, the outcast, they don't realize it. Britt is back. And she we, was just outside. She just oh, 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 my. The spray <laughs> painted somewhere in his face. Hit car, Sheeta. It was a rose. She worked them. Not the outcast. Sheeta. The kendo sticks. Just battering all three members of the outcast. Talk about homegrown. That lady's homegrown AW for sure. And remember, Hikaru Sheeta, she was overlooked by Soraya. When Soraya was forming the outcast with Tony Storm, and Sheeta, she's been holding on to that for months again in a measure of revenge here tonight on Dynamite. There you go. How about that? We've seen the outcast spray paint these green L's on ladies all over the place in this company for Lusa. And Hikaru Sheeta just spray painting AEW on all three of the outcasts. Wow. What a moment. This arena losing its mind. What a moment. Britt Baker, she was in the backstage area. Where the hell did she come from? Hikaru Sheeta exploding back onto the scene at just the right time. Oh, this was great. She had us fooled, man. Yeah. I thought she was uh, joining those outcasts, but uh-uh. Wow. Wow. Well, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, our AEW Women's World Champion, Jamie Hayter, and Hikaru Shida, they have been at odds before, but finding common cause here tonight in the face of the outcasts. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's great to see Shida explode back on the scene here, Shivani. It really was awesome to see. Shida coming back. At first, we were, we were heartbroken, but it was a great, great swerve. It really was.